Then he came down against it, which was good. And then Trump reopened a Keystone Pipeline. And let's let's remember what the Keystone Pipeline is. It's it's oil coming from another country, traveling across our co country to get on tankers to go to other countries. It's not for our country. It's not our oil, and we don't get it. Okay, so this is oil coming from Canada, eh? Going to China and the rest of the world. Okay. So the judge blocked the Keystone XL pipeline in a blow to Trump. Isn't that nice? Huh? It, it also saves uh, water supplies, which is even nicer than yes. the blow to Trump part. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, a, a U.S. judge in Montana has blocked construction of the Keystone XL pipeline designed to carry heavy crude oil. From, it's the dirtiest of all oil, right? It's from the tar sands. Mm -hmm. uh, drawing praise on Friday from environmental groups and a rebuke from President Donald Trump. The ruling of the U.S. court in Montana late on Thursday dealt a setback to TransCanada Corp., whose stock fell 1.7% in Toronto. Shares of the companies that would ship oil on the pipeline also slid. TransCanada A said in a statement it remains committed to building the $8 billion 1,180 mile pipeline, but it has also said it is seeking partners and has not taken a final investment decision. The ruling drew an angry response from Trump, who approved the pipeline shortly after taking office. It also piles pressure on Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau eh, to assist the country's ailing oil sector by accelerating crude shipments by rail until pipelines are built. So right now they ship that stuff by rail, which mm -hmm. is even more dangerous. Hey, how about we just stop trying to get the dirtiest oil in the world? How about we take all that those billions and we put it into wind and solar? Yep. How about that? Mm -hmm. Clogged pipelines have made discounts on Canadian oil even steeper than they were earlier this year when Scotia Bank warned that they may cost the country's economy sixteen billion. Now that's sixteen billion Canadian, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. U.S. District Court Judge Brian Morris wrote that a U.S. State Department environmental analyst analysis of Keystone XL fell short of a hard look at the cumulative effects of greenhouse gas emissions and the impact on Native American land resources. Really, who appointed Brian Morris? Frickin' Ralph Nader? Who appointed him? <laughs> Really, Brian Morris, Judge Brian he Morris. He cares about environmental impact? Where'd they find this guy? It's what? like he's doing his job or something. No kidding, right? The pipeline would carry heavy crude from Alberta to Steel City, Nebraska, where it would connect to refineries in the U.S., Midwest, and Gulf Coast, as well as Gulf export terminals. So we'll see how long that... You know, we don't live in a real... There's no democracy. There's no real court system. Whatever the oligarchs want, they get. They want war, they get it. They manufacture consent. And the press manufactures consent through the rest of the population. Oh, we got we to gotta bomb Saddam. He's a bad. He's got rape rooms. We need to replace him with our rape rooms. Oh, we got to go to Afghanistan and stay there for two decades. Hey, we got to go bomb Assad. He's a bad. He's a butcher. He's gassing people. We got to go get a Gaddafi. He's always a bad person. That's how you manufacture consent. People say that stuff. Oh, Assad's bad, though. <laughs> like, people know anything they're talking about. Anyway, so here we go. We'll see what happens because we do not live in a democracy. Our courts don't mean anything. And the uh, oligarchs get to do whatever they want. So if they want a pipeline, they're getting the goddamn pipe. If they want it. Well, I think that's why you're not hearing a ton of reports about this. This is big news because the real headline, which was a couple paragraphs down, is that any environmental analysis will tell you we didn't do the proper homework on this and we shouldn't be doing it. And that's not just the case with Keystone XL. That's the case for pretty much any pipeline. Right. And if you take a second to actually review the science, you're like, yeah, we shouldn't be doing this. But how much money can we make? Exactly. <laughs> how much can we make, though? <laughs> Us? Nothing. <laughs> oh, nothing for us? <laughs> nothing for us. Okay, so a little bit of good news, but again, believe me, uh, the only thing that's going to stop things from going forward, it's not going to be electoral politics. It's going to be direct action and people getting in the street. And that's what's going to have to happen. Because uh, both, if you're looking for the Democrats 
to save us from climate change, look again. If you're looking for the Democrats to save us for, uh, from the uh, predatory capitalists who are giving us our health care, think again. If you think the Democrats are going to save us from eternal war and imperialism, think again. They're not. So to do this stuff, we're going to have to get it ourselves. Nancy Pelosi is not bringing you Medicare for all. Okay, we're getting off topic. <laughs> <laughs> Our next live Jimmy Dore show is February 1st in Burbank, California. Go to jimmydorecomedy.com for a list of all our live shows. And please become a premium member if you can. Become a patron. It's the way we support this show because they're coming at us. And we give you bonus. We give you hours of bonus material every week. Check it out. Become a patron. And if you can, make sure you're still subscribed. They unsubscribe people every day. I know it sounds crazy. It only takes a second. Please make sure and click that bell when you subscribe so they'll send you a note.